Good morning. Happy December, everybody. My word, it's already cold. It's crisp and frosty here in the UK. Um, it's beautiful out there, absolutely beautiful. So I'm here with something new. Da da da. Uh, every day between now and the 20th of December, I'm going to share one of my big learnings from 2019. Um, I normally do a post and I might do a roundup post at the end of this where I share all the kind of the, the big learnings um, from me and I thought I'd try it as a live instead this year so it's not it's not gonna be particularly long although I may it may I may ramble I may go off on one I've not scripted this it's just like from the heart um, well, I'm just going to share one thing that, that has been really important in my um, my own growth, my personal growth and my business growth um, this year, because it's been a turbulent year. I think it's been a turbulent year for a lot of people. There have been a lot of ups and downs. I've had to navigate a lot of personal stuff and business stuff this year, which has had a knock on effect. And so I just wanted to kind of share and just be really open and honest about my big learnings um, from this year um, because there have been many. What I'm going to struggle with is keeping it down to 15 because we've got 15 days of doing this between now and the 20th of December when I break up for Christmas. So I'm, uh, I'm going to share one every day with you guys. So just please join me. And on the days I don't manage to do it live because there might be, I've got a bit of a busy diary. Um, I will make sure that I do a video instead um, and I will share it with you. So I'm going to commit to doing that because I think commitment and consistency is very important. Something I'm going to share with you guys very, very soon. Um, right. Day one. The first thing I want to share with you is all about your business's biggest asset, which of course is you. And for me, the big learning around that is health. Like health is so important to business owners and entrepreneurs. And I think most of us don't take notice of that. And it's something that bit me on the ass this year um, because I, um, I'm a big overcommitter and I'm very ambitious and I have big ideas and I have big goals. And you know, I've been growing this business for this is my sixth year. And year on year, revenue and profit has grown. Um, and it's been an amazing ride. And it's given me so much excitement and passion. And I've wanted to grow even more and try new things. And I think when we push ourselves that hard for that long, something will inevitably break. And I wasn't taking the best care of myself that I should have been. Um, and I had or have, and I'm still recovering from adrenal fatigue this year, which I'm fast learning is like the entrepreneur's disease, right? Because so many of us get caught in this kind of push cycle, right? Of, of wanting to do more and wanting to get more and wanting to achieve more. Um, and we push ourselves and we don't look after our health. And that can result in things that, that can be really quite dangerous for our health. And for me, that developed into adrenal fatigue, um, which um, has been really tough for me because I find it so hard to slow down because I, I love what I do. And I think this is, this is part of the problem, right? When you really love what you do, and you love showing up and serving, um, and you love, I mean, I, I get off on the results that my clients get, like, I love it. It's, it's like a, an adrenaline rush for me. Um, and as I grow my business, and as I ser serve more people, it just makes me feel amazing. And I think I've been pushing too hard and trying to do too much without looking after myself. And so I developed adrenal fatigue. And I think, <clears throat> The big learning there for me isn't just about, okay, you need to not push yourself. It's also about realizing when things like this happen, like you have a big responsibility 
to step back and heal. And I found that really hard as well. Like actually admitting and <clears throat> admitting to myself that I have this and it was something that needs me to address. And it's something that's going to take a long time to heal. It's not something where you take a pill and magically you're better. It's something where you really have to heal the inside of your body and you really have to change things. And you have to commit to making those changes to support both the healing and then ongoing support of your health and your body. And it's been a real wake up call for me. Um, I, I'm coming out the other side of it now. I'm not healed. I've probably got a while off that. Um, but I've um, been working with people that are helping me through that. And I've been taking lots of supplements and doing things really differently and trying to kind of get my system back on track and get my adrenals back on track so that I'm, I'm healthy, well, in full health. Um, but it's been a real eye opener about the effect that can have on your body and on your mindset. Because I struggled to accept it for a little while and I wanted like everything in me wanted to kind of push on through and keep on working, keep on doing the things that I'd planned and having to put projects on hold and not do the things that, that I had wanted to do was really difficult. And that, that kind of makes you feel like, Oh my gosh, I'm failing or I'm going to get left behind and all of these feelings that kind of start affecting your mindset. Um, and I really had to work on the mindset as well as working on the health side of things. Um, and it's only now, really, I feel like I can talk about it because it's been really difficult just kind of admitting that something's wrong and that I was suffering from adrenal fatigue and that it was holding me back and I wasn't able to do all of the things. And it was really hard to admit that. And it was really hard to admit that, you know, I couldn't do all the things that I wanted to do. Um, and now, now that I'm kind of through that first stage of struggling to admit that something was up, um, I'm feeling much better about it. And actually, I think it's probably been a godsend and it's probably sent to me at the right time because it's really made me appreciate my health. And, you know, it's really made me appreciate those people that struggle with things like this, those kind of chronic illnesses that so many people don't actually recognize and appreciate, it's really made me appreciate those guys, how they still show up and, and continue to deal with stuff like that. Because my God, it's hard. It's hard not having the energy that you're used to having. It's hard not having the, the passion that you're used to having because you're, when your energy is depleted, it's hard to kind of get that back. And I really have an appreciation for that. And it's made me appreciate how important my body and my mind and my health is to my business. And I didn't appreciate that in the beginning. And I kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And I'm really lucky that that's the only thing that broke because it could have been so much worse. Um, so my my biggest learning to share with you guys today, and this is why it had to be number one, because it's been so important um, to me this year and and my development this year, is that your biggest business asset is absolutely your health and you, and you have to take care of it. And don't leave it too late. Like, don't leave it till you develop something that makes you stop, you know? I left it too late and I had to slow down this year, which has had a knock on effect of my business. You know, I'm going to be talking on one of these days about um, one of my learnings around um, growth and revenue and things. Um, but the thing that I've really had to, I've had to kind of get comfortable with this year that this is not going to be a year of revenue growth for me because I had to slow down. So I had to put loads of projects on hold Um and after having year on year revenue growth for the last six years in this business, that was tough, like not being able to create that growth. But now I'm like, actually, it doesn't matter. Like we don't, it doesn't mean anything. It's not, it's not some big label of success that we don't create more growth year on year in our businesses. Um, 
doesn't mean we're not doing anything as good as we used to. It just means it's maintenance. And for me, this year has been a real maintenance year. And the knock-on effect of that has been amazing because it's made me really assess what I want to do and what's in alignment with me and what feels really, really good. Um, and I've still done phenomenally well. And you know, I've matched last year while stepping back in my business and having to look after my health, which I'm incredibly proud of, incredibly proud of. Um, but it's really made me realize the importance of all of those things. And I think, you know, when we're, when we're growing businesses and we have our eyes on sort of a big prize further off and it's a massive goal, I think we forget. We forget the important stuff. And it's really brought me back, back to what's important and my health um, and taking care of me and doing things in alignment has been a really big lesson as part of this. Um, and thankfully now I'm getting healthier and I have the right support. And I think I actually feel like I'm going to be even stronger in 2020 because this was probably something that was around for a while for the last few years where I wasn't taking better care of myself and eating the right things and putting the right nutrients into my body and healing my body in the way that it needed um, and really kind of letting it rest when it needed to. Um, so I think for me, the learning from that is actually how to better take care of me and how to put me first and my health first um, and how that's going to make me so much stronger as a business owner in 2020 and it's actually a nicer life like having to redesign what I do and reprioritize things like movement and eating well and and really eating mindfully and being aware of my body and what I'm putting in it um is just gonna really help me move forward so that is my number one learning, which was a really important one for me to share because I see so many of you pushing yourselves and it breaks my heart because I know that you could end up like me and developing something like adrenal fatigue. And I don't want that for you guys. So do think about that. Think about what you're putting in your body. Like you, you take so much out by doing this work because it's high stress, it's a high stressful situation. So really think about what you're putting in your body, think about the rest that you're having, think about the movement, think about the relaxation time, um, think about taking your foot off the gas and not pushing all the time. And I would be, I would be planning those things into your, your 2020 and making sure that you prioritize them. That's what I've done and that's what I'm gonna be doing um, going forward and I think that's gonna make me a much happier, healthier, wealthier business owner. All right, my darlings, I will be with you for day two tomorrow. Take care of yourselves.